Hello friends, today let's solve cow to square submatrix with all ones. Given an m times n matrix of ones and zeros, return how many square submatrix have all ones. Let's see this example. First, we will count the length equal to one uh, squares. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten. And then we need to count uh, that uh, has length 2. This is one square. This is two, another square. This is another square. This is another square. So we have 4. How about the length equal to 3? We have only 1. So, we, uh, so in total, we have 15 squares. So how to solve this problem? Uh, well. I think you should uh, think about uh, uh, dynamic uh, programming because we need uh, to know previous accumulated uh, ones, right? Like if we are at uh, the row 2, column 3, we need to know uh, how many ones before it in the same row, same column, and the diagonals. So uh, first, I will brief introduce a wrong solution. I thought uh, it at uh, first glance of this question. I think um, I can use a uh, uh, a three you know a three elements to accumulate the ones in the same row, same column, and the diagonals. So for example, if this is a given matrix. Then DP two three zero means uh, accumulated ones in the same row, so it's a three, and uh, DP two three one means the accumulated ones in the same column, same, so it's also three, and uh, DP two three two, which means the accumulated ones in the same diagonal, so it's also three. So in this case, you will know that the max when square it can form is uh, length of three. It uh, seems correct, but it's wrong. Let's see this example. Uh, if we are at uh, this element, uh, then you will see the left part is four, right? The the up, uh, I mean the same column, the accumulated ones is also three. Oh, uh, sorry, four, and the, the diagonals is also four. So. Uh, maybe we can get uh, the conclusion that uh, the maximum square we can form is the length of four, but actually we cannot because this also have um, um, zero, so we cannot uh, form a square have the length of four. So that's the uh, problem of this solution. So how to solve it uh, in a correct uh, way? Well, actually we can. Um, think th three cases. One case is the cell is actually zero, so we just uh, skip it. If it's one, we actually have two cases. One is it on the border. If it's on the border, we just accumulate uh, accumulate uh, this one to the result because it can never form a square have a length uh, larger than one, right? This is only one square, one square, one square, one square. So we just add it to the result. But in the ones, we may form a length greater than one. So this is the fourth row. After iterate it, we just get a zero, one, one, one. And we um, accumulate this three to the result. Result means the total number of the submatrix that ha have all ones. So then we go to the second row. It's also one. We just uh, write one. Here, we, we need to compare uh, if it can form a length of two square. But this is one, one, and zero, so cannot. We, we, we just write one, and then we go forward. And in, th in this case, uh, it's left is one, it's right is, uh, it's up is one. 
and the diagonal is also 1. So we can form a square length of 2. So we write a 2 here. What does that mean? Actually, we have two more squares. One is the same length of one square. The second square is this square. We have length of two. So this is the two means. We actually have two more squares. And uh, we keep go. Then the same for this part. We actually have two more squares. So we add, we write two. You should notice that we change the value in the matrix. Why? You will see afterwards. Then in the third row, zero, just skip it. And this is one, right? We get it left up and the diagonal. So it's also zero, right? Because the minimum is zero. So we just write one and go on. Here, it's one, one, one. So the minimum is one. And uh, we know it can form a length of two square. And uh, for itself, it, it is a length one square. So we add two, just as this example. So we write two here. And then we we'll go on. We are at here. In this case, it's left is two, and then it's up is two, and it's diagonal is two. So the minimum is just two. And uh, we know it's, it itself is 1, so we write 3 here. How to understand this 3? Actually, it means we have 3 squares more. This is the first one, it's a length of 1. And this is the second one, length of 2. This is the third one, length of 3. And we do not, we do not uh, repeatedly calculate other squares, because these two uh, length of two square we already accumulated before. So in this case, we just have three more, which is uh, this one, this one, and this one. So uh, you should notice that uh, in the end, uh, we accumulated this, so the result is 15. Okay, so all in all, this is the relation. We first uh, check whether uh, I is the row index, J is the column index. If uh, it is in the borders, uh, just uh, add the result uh, uh, increment by one. If it's inner, we update the cell. We get it's uh, three neighbors minimum. And uh, we accumulate this value to the original matrix value. And uh, in the end, we add this value to the result. So the time complexity will just be big O m times n, OK? Now let, let, let's write the code. M is the matrix dot length. So quick check if M equal to zero, just return zero. And uh, N is the matrix zero dot length. We need a result global variable. And for int i equal to zero, i less than M i plus plus for int j equal to zero, j less than N j plus plus check oh if matrix i j equal to zero just to continue if it's one we check whether it is in the border j equal to zero then the result is just uh, increment by one and we continue okay otherwise we get a minimum the three neighbors so minimum uh matrix i minus 1, j minus 1, and the uh, mass minimum matrix i and the uh, j minus 1 matrix i minus 1, j. And uh, we accumulate this value to the matrix. And the result just plus this matrix i, j. So in the end, just the return result. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.